How you guys doing? Welcome back. Now, as you could tell, I am in the middle of a boss fight. Um, continuing from last episode because this guy, motherfucker, killed me probably about four times. Uh, four or five times, I think. I think that's that's the amount I've died to this guy. And it's not even him, really. I mean, it is him, but I always... I had the biggest trouble when he spawned in two of his dominions just like him, right? Um, you'll you'll see who the enemy is in the moment. I forgot I deleted the the other one. It, it was at literally like like 63 minutes or something weird. I wasn't even paying attention to the time because I forgot about it. I was just trying to beat this guy, and I just kept trying and trying and trying, and it just was not happening. So. I stopped recording, and now I finally am about to beat him. So, now I'm starting the recording. Um, he's basically just a beefed up version of the fast enemies. Like the claw the claw enemies. The ones that Dohalim special attack negates. Because they're too fast or too quick or whatever. This is a beefed up version of him. Um, does immense damage. Um, can basically one shot me. Any of the teammates with one once he gets enraged and does his uh, like triple claw attack. And that's really what killed me multiple times is that attack. Because it tracks. Um, and so yeah, that sucked. Um, but anyways, let's, uh, let's get it and finally beat this guy. You see, Dohalim is already dead. <laughs> Finally beat his ass. Jesus Christ, that took me so long. Luckily, though, every time I retried, it refreshed. It like, it's like I didn't use any items. So. So much for finding the Lord. Come on, let's get back to Niaz. Shion, calm down. This isn't like you. What's wrong? Talk to me. It's none of your concern. Even after everything we've been through together? The two of us are only helping each other because our interests overlap, remember? Are you serious? You helped me come to terms with Zephyr's death. You put your life on the line to save me. Don't tell me you did all that out of necessity. That it was only because we have a common goal. <sighs> Fine. Huh? You don't want to answer? Then I'll do whatever I like from now on, too. Clearly, I'm just bothering you. So it doesn't matter if you tell me what's on your mind. But that doesn't mean I'm going to stop looking out for you. Not now, not ever. That's not fair. Why can't you just leave me alone? You don't know the first thing about me. But I do. I know you care about the pain of others. <gasps> you care, Shion. That's why I want to help. Because of my thorns. I thought I had been doomed to a life of solitude until the day I died. I knew I would be alone. And now? Truth is, I'm trying to end my curse and get rid of my thorns. There it is. Rid of. There's a, a wall has that? been torn really? down. She's starting to open up. I'm not completely sure. All I know is there's a chance. But that's the reason I need the Renes Alma. The Renes Alma? 
The Master Core to end all Master Cores. It is bestowed upon the winner of the Crown Contest, the new Sovereign, as proof of their victory. It must be assembled from all five Master Cores. That's why taking down the Lords is so important to you. But Shion, you're not in this alone. If there's a chance we can rid you of your thorns, I'll be by your side the whole way. That includes us, right? Like it or not, you're going to have to get used to relying on us every now and then. What kind of friends would we be otherwise? Thank you. Yes, ma'am. Dan in Liberation and the Renis Alma. Looks like we've got our work cut out for us. If we have any hope of finding this Lord and their Master Core, we start by heading back to Nias. Let's go. Man, who would have thought we'd ever get thanked by Shion? Sounds like someone wants me to grab Okay, so no, I, I was at a good level, but I was... I'm joking, I'm joking. I was, um... Damn, you're scary sometimes. I was Shion's going to... Can you guys stop talking? Uh, Alvin. Uh, uh, I'll just, uh, leave you two alone. Okay, so, as I was saying, the, um... I was gonna go out and like farm the enemies because I felt like I was too low level but no that that boss enemy was only level 28 and I was and I'm most of my characters are level 28 so I'm technically always on par but as you can see <laughs> I have like virtually no items left all my life bottles are gone um you know the peach which I didn't really use all too much but I used quite a few lemon gels orange gels I'll use up all 15 of my life bottles or however many I had in my inventory I think I only had like 13 but I used up all those how to use the orange gel and then how to switch in Shion uh, where's it at is it strategy no the edit yeah there you go um it doesn't show it here, but I switched out her for Shion because Shion and him and um, Dohalim both have the could use the arts to heal, and Shion is a little bit better in terms of healing only because she has the the pool of healing that you just stand in and you get healed. So that's um, so that's nice, obviously. But, uh, but yeah, but I was just like, I really don't want to have to do that. And so I just kept trying and trying and trying. What could this be? And eventually, like I said, an hour later, I finally beat him. And it wasn't the, the boss wasn't even the difficult part. It was the, the enemies that, because while I was distracted with trying to deal with both of them, the freaking, you know, boss came up and just touched my butt. And it was not very pleasant. Well, let me go to the inn. Hopefully it doesn't have a, uh, like, a cutscene. Like, I have to go speak to a specific person in Niaz, not just show up there. So I could, yeah, it's <sighs> perfect. We finally made it. Um. Weapons. I need astral crystal to craft this one. Astral crystal. I could craft this one. I just need the Flaming Knights one. Which I need Inferno Fang. I still have never gotten an Inferno Fang. Um, wing. Gauntlets. What? 
I have those equipped and it's telling me I don't have them. Okay. I'm confused. Um, aiming water, this one. I need some shmoney. She already has the best one. Look, I own one. Maybe because I have it equipped? I'm confused. Let me... Have you equipment? Let's just throw on those for a second. Guys, right, let me talk to him again. Oh, yeah, it's because I had it equipped. Right, craft those. Craft that. And then I just I need three thirty two hundred. Okay, that gave me half. Um, I'm looking for like stuff I have a shitload of, like Tempest Stone. Sell twenty five of those. Um, what is it, sixty two. But those aren't really worth much. I can sell a bunch of these. Let me sell thirty of these. Sell, you know, um, twenty five of these. That type of thing. And then let me go here. Craft that. And I already have the best one. She already has the best one. I just need astral crystals and I could craft the best one for everyone else. Except for this one. I need dragon flame staff. So I need to keep the on the lookout for astral crystals. Create. Protect. Physical damage, resistance, penetration, attack. I feel like I should make dark damage, light damage, AG recovery. God damn. God damn. Use this as water damage. Be crap for that. Um, oh, that's right. I don't even have time I try on some equipment. Oh, no, I do have something on everyone. No poison. Something new. Um, 
I need to enhance accessory. Okay. I'm gonna have to mess around with that quite a bit, actually. Yeah, a lot of these are worth a lot. These are worth a lot. But I'm also not 100% sure if I need the armors for the future. You feel me? I don't think so I do. Because I don't... I don't craft armor. You know what I mean? I either purchase it or I find it in the world. I only craft weapons, so I feel like it's safe for me to sell this stuff. You know, not the weapons, but the armor. Let's have your bottle. Battle chain. Hey, life bottles. I don't get apple gel anymore, that's... That's a too little health. I need these. I could only buy three. Let me sell some more stuff. Armor. I find these things like quite everywhere so if I need more it's gonna be fairly easy for me to get more Insufficient. Okay, I guess that'll have to do for now. You can never be too prepared, but did we have?
All done. Come and eat. Wait. Okay. Now let's go see who we gotta talk to. About damn time. Took long enough. Oh, but that's right. I can't wait. Head on over to the plaza. What's going on? It seems busier here than before. Hey, look! Isn't that Bayfon over there? Ah, there you are. It seems I owe you all an apology. I'm guessing you didn't find the Lord back in the forest, did you? No, but something tells me you already knew that. That I did. Turns out I bit down on some bad intel when I should have known better. Apparently, Dead Eye's not as trusting of me as I thought. But why would he feed you bad intel? My guess? He wanted me to lead you all astray. Make sure you weren't sniffing around where he didn't want you to be. Bastard. While you were off in the forest, I got word that one of our squads captured the Lord. The place wasn't even close to where you were searching. I see. Well, the important thing is that you finally caught her. Did you suffer many casualties? You're not going to believe this, but she didn't even put up a fight. She had no escort either. Well, what about her Master Corps? Was it recovered? Sorry. They only briefed me on the basics. For now, Deadheim's getting ready to make his victory speech out in the plaza. In the meantime, I'd been ordered to set up a defense perimeter around the outside of the city. So I'll be out of town for a while. I imagine Deadheim will announce what he intends to do with the Lord during his speech. You'll have to let me know how it goes. Anyway, until next time. As long as we get the Master Corps, it shouldn't matter, right? A Renan Lord surrendering without a fight? Something doesn't add up here. I'm afraid I can't say I know much of her lordship personally. There's a lot about this that doesn't make sense. The Master Corps is a concern too. Let's stick around like Bayfon suggested and see what happens. We don't leave until we get to the bottom of this. I'm worried about just what Deadheim has in store for Almadria. For now, let's wait at the inn until he gives his victory speech. We've reached our destination. These must be the Danans the Dark Wings freed. Yeah. The city might be in ruins. The people have risen from the ashes. This is the place Bayfon said Deadheim would reveal the Lord's fate. I wonder what he'll do to her. <sighs> well. Hello? Is that? Yes. It's Lord Almadria Kynaris. Please stop! No good can come of such hatred! Stop or there'll be no turning back! Are <laughs> 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 well, you even ugly or animated? Is Goddamn. This supposed to be justice?
God damn, um, what is it, Salem? We about to watch her get fried right now, or what? Why now? You don't think that. The fruit of Helgen. Goodbye. God damn. Turn into a fucking soup. <laughs> oh, she played them all. Psycho Oh God. We about to fight her right now? Did I not? Nothing good can ever come of such nasty hatred. I guess we are about to fight her. That's going to do it for this episode. If you guys enjoyed it, please consider leaving a like, sharing, and subscribing. And I'll catch you guys next time.